Do you repeat affirmations for 21 or even 30 days and find that it doesn't work? Or maybe you're new to affirmations and you want to know how they work and how to make them actually work for you. In this short video, I want to share with you the secret to making affirmations work and how you can do that regardless of your circumstances. My name is Joanna, your Mindful Mastery Coach, and I am passionate about helping people gain mastery over their mind and emotions so that they can fully enjoy their life. If you find yourself repeating affirmations daily and you still find that you're not seeing or feeling any improvement in your mindset and how you think, then maybe you are missing this key ingredient in your affirmation practice that once implemented will take affirmations to a whole new and powerful level for you. The biggest problem when it comes to affirmations not working is that people rely on repetition alone to make things happen for them. Don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with repetition. Repetition is powerful. This is why we use it when we study and when we want to remember something. But how many of the things that we repeat do we actually remember? Schools have long stopped relying on just repetition to teach children because they realize that learning best happens when children are enjoying the learning process. Consider your memories from childhood. What types of things have stuck with you over the years? And why those things above others? What makes things stick into our memories are the emotions that we feel during those moments. The stronger the emotion, the stronger the memory. This is why we remember things that scare us and things that excite us. Because those emotions impress that memory deep into our mind. And for this reason, the key to making affirmations truly powerful is to add emotions to the repetition. So I know you may be thinking, how can I add emotion? especially when the things I'm affirming and repeating don't really feel real or true in my life at this present moment in time. For example, you may be affirming that you are a money magnet, but don't even have an income at the moment. What if I were to tell you that probably more often than we like, our brain is unable to differentiate between what is reality and what is coming from our own imagination. Think about every time that we feel anxious or worried or stressed. Are we feeling these things because of the present moment? Or is it because of the things that may come and the consequences that we may have to face in the future? And I know you're probably thinking, but I have so much to do right now and have so little time. So much is going on right now and this is what's causing all that stress. But what if I were to tell you that the stress and negative feelings are not from the tasks at hand, but at what we perceive may happen as a result of not completing them or completing them poorly. Our brains are good at picking up patterns and making predictions so that they are constantly trying to predict what will happen. Is that person raising their hand to wave to us? Or to give us a high five? Or to hit us? Depending on our previous experience, our brain will look at those cues and make predictions as to what will happen so that you can take action accordingly to protect yourself and to do what's best for yourself. While those predictions may come true, they are not guaranteed. We can all think of a time when we were expecting one thing and something completely different happened instead. So understanding that our brains are not infallible, but are just going by the best information that they have at that point in time, 
how we think and feel right now does not have to remain that destination. We can change our thinking patterns and change the way we think and feel in the future. And we can do this through the practice of repeating affirmations. So this brings me back to how we add emotions into the practice of reciting affirmations. To begin, we must first start slow. Bringing emotions into an affirmation takes practice. So most people are not able to just bring in that emotion at the snap of a finger. So give yourself time to be able to acclimate and learn how to practice this. So first you want to say the affirmation out loud. Just listen to the words. Do these words resonate with you? Do they feel real? Or possible? Or do you feel resistant to them in any way? And ask yourself, what if this was true? What would it feel like to live in a world where this statement was unquestionably, undeniably true? And allow yourself to feel that feeling. And as you feel it, repeat the affirmation out loud again. Doing affirmations this way will take a little more effort and more time than just merely repeating it. But when you bring in the feeling, the words become more powerful. And as you continue to repeat them daily, you will find that the feeling comes easier and quicker each time. And before you know it, the affirmations you choose will become your natural way of thinking. And new thoughts will lead to new choices. And new choices can change your life. So comment down below and let me know where you're tuning in from or just leave an emoji or two so I know that you watch this. If you like this video, found it helpful or entertaining in any way, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Because this year, I am committed to helping you gain mastery over your mind and emotions. See you in the next video. Bye!